Come with me and you'll see how I built a fireplace in my master bedroom. Okay, no, but seriously. This is how we took our bedroom and turned it into a luxurious bedroom with a fireplace. It all started with this accent wall, you see. I drew up an idea for an accent wall that we thought would be perfectly awesome. Then we were like, you know what else would be great? Let's build a fireplace. Couldn't actually go around and get a gas fireplace installed. That would be way too much money and too time consuming. But they do make electrical heaters that look like fires. So we figured we could stick one of those in the wall. Building this false wall was relatively easy. It really only required like 12 2 by 4s a few sheets of drywall, a leftover gallon of paint from our accent wall project so that everything matches. Sticking with the whole make your bedroom match theme, we decided not to do a shiplap which would have been super easy and would have totally avoided the need for drywalling. But hey, that's what the wife wanted so we went and did the drywalling and we wanted to continue the accent wall onto the fireplace so that everything would have a nice cohesion to it. Very feng shui. First thing I did was find the center of my room, kind of center that up and lined it up with my bed and of course the wall. Measured it out to be about five feet long. Then I went and cut out the baseboard and the crown molding at the top so that everything would fit in nice and smoothly. Commenced to cutting everything out somewhat on the fly. After you figure out what size you want it to be, Figuring out the cuts and measurements are pretty easy, seeing as how the dimensions of the boards are pretty standard one and a half inches or three and a half inches, depending on the orientation of the board. But that's not the point. The point is cutting everything, leveling it all was like the easy part. Finding a way to anchor it to the wall, we used one by threes, I believe. The real pain in the butt for me was doing the drywall crap. I haven't dried one anything since I was like 14. And I gotta say, I have a newfound respect for all those videos out there of the drywall guys. I know you've seen them. Those guys make it look so freaking easy, but I digress. I was actually looking forward to making the beam because they're way too expensive. Just a couple 1x8s, a 1x6, some 45, some wood glue, and Bob's your uncle. It looks fantastic. Once the fireplace arrives, I'll show you another quick reel and you'll let me know what you think. Thanks.